big point shot. And Sampras makes an immediate breakthrough. Wonderful pick up on the half volley and Gustavo. Getting a little frustrated. Well, he By no means an easy volley, he may have looked it, but Quirt and drilled it. It's the sort of volley that you really expect Sampras to make. Oh. It was wide, and that may seal the fate of Gustavo Quirton because he's now two mini breaks, two points against the serve down. It's long, just losing his balance. Yes, the second time uh, he's, he's volleyed, as if something's disturbed him, the sort of uh, volleying you face, for instance, or you, the mistake you make when the ball's coming from light into shade or vice versa. It's not... Sampras edges ever. It's wide. And Sampras has four championship points. Well, Curtin almost a little impetuous getting on with the first serve there, almost as if he wanted to get this over with. Curtin is not going to lie down. Six, Two match points saved. It's wide. People are up on their seats, but it was wide, and Sampras knows it. Can you believe it? Three have slipped away, and now they're back on serve. Six, five, Sampras. Four match points have come and gone. Mind you, of Henman against Agassi, perchance. Six all. Six all. It's on the line, Curtin let it go, but it had a little bit of topspin, and it's a fifth championship point for Sampras. Uh, well called by the lines, and no doubt about it, Sampras hit it well. Curtin uh, just unhappy with the state of affairs, but absolutely no doubt about the call. Bad error of judgment by him. For the fifth time. I remember Sampras lost a Master Series final in Cincinnati to Patrick Rafter on a controversial call, which he continued to dispute for ages. And these Brazilian fans are going to boo for ages. Certainly, memories of Hedman now. Seven. Uh, but still, he's experienced. That'll go wide, and what are we up to now? Six Seven. championship Seven. points.
Oh, Quirton slams his racket in disgust because Sampras has yet another championship point. Oh, this is just tremendous. Extraordinary. It seemed to have bounced over Sampras's racket. Indeed, it had, but it went out as well. Gustavo Quirton still furious. You can see what he did to his racket over the call on his end, but it was a good call. And it's Sampras who takes the acclamation as he becomes the first man ever to win 11 Masters Series titles. But boy, was he pushed to the limit. Definitely it was a great week for me. I mean, I, I play since the first match very well. The, the crowd, Brazilian crowd especially, support me so, so big. That was great. Obrigado. And uh, also I, I had chance to at least try to beat uh, Agassi and Sampras, but unfortunately I wasn't, my game wasn't enough. And, uh, I'm still happy by the way I play and just uh, uh, being in the first, first time in the final here, so it's, it's a great feeling. Congratulations on a fabulous match. But I was uh, having to work very hard, Gustav was making me hit a lot of low volleys and I was choking there at the end, to be honest with you, I was feeling my nerves a little bit, but I got through at the end. Well, congratulations on a great effort. Ladies and gentlemen, our, our 2000 Ericsson Open men's singles champion, Pete Sampras.